be venturing out and about. We had some sleet, sleety snow earlier this morning. And now it's just turned to rain, quite windy as well. But I'm out in the hunt for Easter eggs for my grandkids, so I need to get them in. Easter's what, four days away? Four days away, so I need to go and make sure I get them. I just hope there's plenty still left in the shops. are all well well what a day what a day to begin out but as i said about the easter eggs i need to go definitely not spring weather although there's nice sheep and lambs out in the fields but i hope it picks up apparently it hasn't too so so i'll get some easter eggs and just a few things that i need uh, for the house i'm going to make soup so i need to pick a few things up for that I don't think we'll be out too long. Well, we're, well, we're here at Asda. We've got to walk up there. So we'll probably be soaked by the mm -hmm. time we get to the main door. Is there a door at this side? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need some celery. here to walk in front of us with trolleys. Ah <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, we're going to go and see if we get parked at the other side and go to Pizza Hut. I get something to eat and then we'll need to get home because Maggie will be wanting her lunch. It's actually 10 to 12 just now so it's, she'll be hungry. It won't be that long now. So I got Easter eggs. Um, it was but four for ten pound. It was four for ten pound, but some of them were in smaller boxes and others were in bigger boxes. And then I don't want my grandkids to look at them and say, "How did you get a bigger box?" But they were all the same price. <laughs> so I don't know. I'll need to sort them out. Right, we're home. We've been home for quite some time. I think we got home about ten past one or half past one, can't remember. It is now 20 minutes to five in the afternoon. So I thought I'd show you what we picked up when we were out at the shops, mainly Livingston. We didn't, the only other place we went was after the shop and we went to Pizza Hut and we had a nice, you know how you can, I don't know, if maybe you will know, maybe you won't know, you can get the buffet. Um, so you got and you help you sell as much pizza, there's salad, there's pasta as well and you can get as much juice as you want to and you can also get the option of the buffet with some ice cream as well at the end of dessert. So we did that 
it didn't film it, we were too busy enjoying it, sorry. And the shop did start getting quite busy, so there was a lot of people, you know, coming and going, so didn't bother filming that. When we finished, we just came home, fed Maggie, and the two of us sat in the living room and fell asleep for an hour. So I'm just going to show you what I got. I got all the Easter eggs for my grandkids. I got some wee eggs to put in some uh, Easter jars that I've got. I've got a wee display sitting here in the dining room just now. I'll let you see that in a minute. And uh, I didn't want a chocolate egg. So Tam bought me some leggings. I needed new leggings. I only wear them for lounging about the house, going out for walks and just maybe shopping. I like to be comfortable. I've got to be comfortable when I go out. So got them and I saw a nice spring summer dress as well. So Tam bought me them, so I'll just let you see them in a minute. Um, I picked up just two packets of these funny eggs because we're not really doing anything this Easter Sunday. Um, Saturday I'm going out with uh, some of the family and um, I'll film that and let you see it. We're going to the Science Centre. So we'll be in there for a few hours, uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday. I don't know, maybe my son will come up for his dinner with Logan. I, I don't know, I haven't really planned anything yet. So the wee jars I got, which I will show you, I'm going to put the mini eggs. So I just got two packets of these. Then there was these, now these were 80 pence each. Just different chocolate eggs and different coloured papers so they'll go into the jars as well now there's a pack of two leggings here with cotton they were £10 which is quite good I was wearing leggings while we were decorating and cleaning and they get absolutely ruined and I'm talking about four pairs four pairs one pair survived I don't think well I couldn't have worn them because they didn't get any paint or anything on them so they, that was £10 for a pack of two and then these were hanging up on their own they were also £10 I think um, yeah but these are more like your bell bottom that's not like the straight leg leggings can you see that it's got a bell bottom um, so I thought well that's a wee change isn't it so got them as well and the wee dress that I saw I think it's nice. It's black, but with all these beautiful coloured... To me, they look like pansies or um, something. On them. It's got the long sleeves. It's an A-line. It comes down to the waist and then it flares out a little bit. It is jersey material, so it probably will cling a wee bit. It comes to below my knees. Um, I'm not trying it on just now, folks, but look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at those flowers. Absolutely adore them. And the black background is just so cute. And then all the different coloured flowers on the front. It's just a normal neckline. So, yeah, and that was from Georgia Asda. And the price, did I say the price? £12.50. So... I'll maybe put that on on Sunday, or if it's nice on Saturday, I might just put it on when we go out with the, the family. So, while I was getting some Easter things out, now, I didn't put any Easter things out last year. I might have done, I might have done a display, I can't remember. Some of them I actually made, um, but it must have been two, maybe three years since I made them. When I was doing crafts a lot more... And I was doing felting as well, and I had made some things. I'll let you see them just now. But I also came across these Easter cards from the three people that always send me cards um, and gifts at Christmas and Easter. And uh, a handmade one, of course, that's from Wendy. These are from last, they're either last year or the year before, I can't remember. It's from Wendy, Larry and Patch. Patch is a wee dog, so Bentley made that. She does a bit of crafting as well. And this cute one with the wee lamb and the daffodils is from Lee. Lee always sends me cards as well. Um, so I can't remember. If you can tell me, Lee, Wendy, the other ones from Dee, 
Um, was that last year? I my memory's terrible. And then, of course, uh, this lovely one from Dee. I haven't heard from Dee in a long, long time. Um, and I really hope she's all right. Um, she had sent me this one. As I say, last year or the year before, I, I don't remember. So, yeah, I've kept them. Well, they were in with the Easter stuff. I've got other cards and other boxes put away as well. So I'll just show you the wee display I've done and the Easter eggs that I bought for the grandkids. Um, I was going to put the wee Easter display in the kitchen, but I have picked some daffodils from my own garden and put them in a vase because it's spring. Well, it's supposed to be spring. You wouldn't think it with the weather. And it's coming up to Easter. This is Wednesday the... 27th of March um, so I'm filming this a wee bit early and uh, I'll probably film over the Easter weekend as well so I'm just going to let you see this wee display right so I've got this wee tray I've had that for I think since last year I bought that tray my lovely daffodils from my own garden. I've still got some daffodils out the back garden and there's some in the front garden as well. These are the wee jars now. It must be two, maybe three years since I bought these. This looks like an egg, but it's got bunny ears on top of it. And then there's a larger one. I think it was Home Bargains or B&M I got these. I can't really remember, but I'm going to put some sweets. Spin them up. They've all been washed. So the mini eggs, they're not in water, so I'm just uh, extra clean this one because they're not in water. Um, sorry if I'm making too much noise with the, the paper, the wrappers. I might not get the lid shut now. Maybe they would have been better in the bigger one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and these ones, these have got wee foil wrappers on them, so they'll just skin the bigger one. Some wee eggs, these are glittery eggs again. I don't remember, it was home bargains of BM, and uh, this as well. This is when the, the sun shines on it, it starts to move up and down. And I did some felting um, across, obviously. And these wee bunny rabbits I made with my own fair hands and my sewing machine. Must be two or three years since I've made them, so they're sitting there as well. And the carrots that I felted a few years ago. <laughs> so I'll just pop them back in there. Now, I did felt some, or tried to felt some wee um, pastel coloured eggs a few years ago as well. Um, they weren't too bad, they weren't too bad, so I'll just leave them sitting in there. Now, these eggs, they light up. I'll just get to the battery pack. Again, I've had them a few years. And they're lovely, lighting up. There's pink, yellow, there's a peachy colour, blue, and a green there as well. So that's that. And in the back there, I've got the Easter eggs. This here, um, if the weather, if the kids were all coming, well, the younger kids, I would do a, an egg hunt and I would put something like these wee sweeties in it or, or something else. These open up, as you can see, there's one open there just now, and I would hide them in the garden. But the way the weather is forecast for Sunday, I think it's to be raining again. Whether we do it or not, I don't know, but I know Anthony won't be over on Sunday. 
Logan will be here anyway, so whether I do it for him or not, we'll just need to wait and see. So, yep, loads of different eggs here from my grandkids. Um, and asked that uh, you were getting two for eight pound or four for ten pound. So, this Smarties one here, the dinosaur Smarties one, I got that one, and you'll see a ripple one sitting over there. Two for eight pound. The rest of them were four for ten pound, and you can see the different sizes, the twirls in the smaller box. But these were in the same offer, the um, four for ten pound. But the boxes are just bigger, but the same amount is in it. There's some celebration one, a celebration egg rather, and the skittle one near at the back. That's for Logan, and the rest are for the older uh, grandkids. That's quite a nice wee display I like that. It would be nice in the kitchen, but if I put it in the island, it means that when I'm preparing food or sandwiches or anything like that, I need to keep moving it. We eat in here anyway, so that would just be nice. And if we do an Easter Sunday dinner, it will be nice to look at while we're eating our dinner as well. Right, so that was our day. That's what we bought. And... Um, it's just going to be a pity if the weather's quite bad on Sunday. To be better on Saturday, but uh, we'll just need to wait and see, won't we, to be sure. If we can go out and hide eggs or whatever. I still don't know what I'm really wanting to do on Sunday or make a nice dinner or what. Um, it's just something we haven't planned at all because we've been too busy. I haven't really gave it much thought. That's why we had to get out today and needed to go and get the Easter eggs. Usually I've got them long before this um, and it's only four days or three, four days to Easter and that's me just getting them. So I was glad I got them. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I just thought I'd come on, let you spend a wee bit of time with us today. We enjoyed a wee day out. We enjoyed our buffet at the Pizza Hut. And we were just that tired when we came home, we just nodded off. So so right now I'm going to go and get washed, get in my pyjamas, sorry. It is still miserable out there, it's cold and so damp. And we'll just sit back, watch telly as we usually do. And uh, I'll see you again very soon, probably over the Easter weekend. So I hope you are all organised for whatever you are doing this coming weekend. Um, and you'll find out what we get up to um, once I upload the videos. So take care everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.